Hello, welcome back. Today we're on lesson nine in our Free Code Camps HTML and CSS section. Lesson nine is titled Use CSS Selectors to Style Elements. It says with CSS there are hundreds of CSS properties that you can use to change the way an element looks on your page. When you entered h2 style equals color red in our h2 tag, you were giving that individual h2 element an inline style. That's one way to add style to an element, but a better way is by using CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. At the top of your code, create a style element like this. So what we can do is just copy this and then move it right there. And then it says inside that style element, you can create a CSS selector for all H2 elements. For example, if you wanted all H2 elements to be red, your style element would look like this. See, they add this in between the style element. They add this H2, which is a selector, and then the code or whatever's inside the braces is applied to that selector. This is a good way if you had multiple H2 elements and you wanted to make them all red, you could just use this style tag to select all H2 elements. It says note that it's important to have both opening and closing curly braces around each element style. You also need to make sure your element style is between the opening and closing style tags. Finally, be sure to add the semicolon to the end of each of your element's styles. The instruction says delete your h2 element style attribute and instead create a CSS style element and the necessary CSS to turn all h2 elements blue. So they just want us to, instead of using the style that we did here we can take that out see it goes back to default they want us to do it here inside the style tag so again the benefit of using the style tag is you get to actually target all h2 elements through the h2 selector the curly brace, anything within here will be applied to the H2 element on your page. They want us to give it a color of blue and to remember the semicolon at the end. With this, we see it changed on the right side to blue, and that is because, again, this selector finds all H2 elements on the page and applies the color blue to all those H2 elements. So you can um, get a better picture of this. We've also create another H2 element under our paragraph. It should also have the color of blue because of our style tag selecting all H2 elements. So whatever I type within here should also be blue. And there we have it, also blue. So that actually should be, let's see what it was asking. It says remove the style attribute from your H2 element, which we did. Create a style element, which we did up here at the top. Your H2 element should be blue. Our H2 element is blue. Ensure that your style sheet H2 declaration is valid with a semicolon and closing brace. There it is. Semicolon at the end. And then we got the <clears throat> closing brace. Make sure all your style elements are valid and have a closing tag. And there we have it. So this, again, should work now. Let's check it. And we are good. 